Hey what's going on, welcome to yet another real world web scraping project I'm currently working on and today we're gonna be scraping real estate properties from the Spain based site, real, real estate properties site idealist.com and last video we did obtain the list of postal codes in Spain uh, that I've scraped from Wikipedia and you can see the link to that video tutorial in the description below this one and I uh, I'll also I've uh, uh, I did put this uh, Madrid uh, one of Madrid post postal codes at the very beginning of the file just in order to encounter uh, this very page here which not uh, only contains a kind of a few listings but also has a pagination because that's really needed in order, in order to provide the decent pagination crawling logic so uh, first we, we're gonna crawl through all the post postal codes links like this one and then through all the pages within each postal code and then through every single card uh, property card list and uh, so we'll be navigating to we'll say over in here and just try to scrape all the sensitive data available from this kind of page so if you're interested in watching this kind of project yeah just uh buckle up and we begin basically so uh just just before we start i, I would like to say that as far as uh, this is a project for one of my clients i can share the source code so the only way to obtain the source code as a developer basically is just to follow this tutorial completely so you would be typing the code from screen to your text editor and eventually you'll get the working version at the very end of this video so uh now let's actually start so here in the current working directory i have two files so the postcodes.txt i've just demonstrated this and this one commercial sale uh that's because the the very first uh part i'm starting uh my crawlings with is the commercial properties for sale that's that regards every single site i've been scraping before uh on this channel and within this project in particular so that's what it's that's what exactly was supposed to be scraping so before uh proceeding i would like to provide a little, a little header here so i can say script to scrape data from uh, to scrape a real estate property a list data from idealist.com and also a little signature here well unfortunately on the real world projects I can't uh, type by code monkey king so for those of you who don't know that i'm known as code monkey king but instead i would use my real name yeah just to be <laughs> just to make it slightly a bit more solid yeah but uh, but i'm always tempted to uh, actually uh, put this code monkey king signature into the production code <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's really tempting. Okay, so is the, 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 is, this is the same kind of right? Okay, so now we need to import some packages. So we need to import scrapy then from scrapy the crawler. We need to import the crawler process, and uh, that's needed in order to in order to be able to run this. Uh, Mm, scrape is better from within a Python script than from scrape dot selector. Uh, we need to import the selector to be able to parse uh, data from the local HTML file copy. Uh, uh, also, we'll need to import the JSON module to pre print extracted data. Also, I want to import uh, date time to provide the file names based on current date time and I'm not sure if I would need actually uh, URL lib because uh, it seems like no particular string query parameters to be encoded right over in here so that's kind of it basically and now we need to provide uh, this the scraper class so idealist uh, it's called idealista right idealista uh, scraper class so class i call this commercial sale because 
it's the pattern I'm using uh, along all the projects and, and they're, they're already kind of, I don't know, for about a 20, 20 spiders already and they all have this similar name so just in order to be able to run them uh, within the proper routines later on. So uh, it was inherit from the scrapey dot spider which is the general purpose scraper scrapey spider. Now we need to provide the scraper name and the name would be equal to let's call this idea list just just like the site itself. And now we need to provide the base URL. We're supposed to be probably kind of well. So the base URL in our case would be so it's this offices, right? So up to here seems to be just fine. Yeah. So the base URL, uh, base URL would be equal to this kind of stuff here. Okay, uh, also the very important thing to provide is the custom heaters because I've been testing this without them and got a 403 response which is not that great so obviously we need to uh, get the entire set of heaters not only the user agent but literally all, all the heaters available so let's try to see uh, what we got here so uh, let's have a look. So, just wondering what's gonna be the refer here. Uh, I tried this without cookies, so it did work uh, so far at least. Uh, just let me see the refer. If any. Okay, the refer is just perfect. So, yeah. Now let's grab the entire set of cookies uh, from over in here and. So I'll, I will get rid of uh, a, a set of hitters. I will get rid of cookies just a little bit later on. So hitters would be equal to, and here I'm using all this stuff. Okay. So we don't need cookies at all so sometimes it's useful to, to have them but this this time it seems like it works without cookies as well and I also did check the robots.txt file which uh, seems to allow to crawl the particular URL uh, the, the particular URL I'm trying to crawl here the, the list the range of URLs basically so this uh, office is for sale in particular Okay, and okay. Well, probably one day Dr. Pi would find a way how to automate the stuff I'm making just right now. I really hope for that. So, okay. So, do we have this like? Okay, and just before I have a proceeding, I want to provide the main driver here. So I would say if name uh, equals main, in this case, I want to run the scraper. And I'm creating the process variable that would be the equal, uh, equal uh, that would be the instance of the crawler process. Then I need to say process dot dot crawl and our commercial ra uh, commercial sale sorry scraper is an argument as commercial rates uh, commercial sales scraper class spider class and process dot start eventually just to run this stuff and what else so we will need some more things so. Let's provide the custom settings here. So, custom settings is yet another. Well, like here is it doesn't regard to scrape is quite a while. Well, custom settings actually do. So, in this uh, here we can specify the concurrent requests requests per domain. 
and let's consider the only one request just to avoid getting banned basically because this site seems to be really sensitive to this stuff so also we need to provide the download delay and let's set it to one second as well okay and what else so it seems to be like this is it for for a while at least well uh obviously also we need to keep track of the current page uh, counter so the current page would be equal to well let's keep it one for a while because well actually so you, you can't really crawl like page number one it would redirect us so maybe it will even start with the current page equals to two and then we would be incrementing that on and on and also we need the post codes list so that we would be initializing along the way here so I say the post codes would be equal empty list and now let's uh, initialize our, uh, provide our constructor initializing logic some CASA flight in there uh, right over oh my god right over there okay you hear the sound right they got a fight now I guess it's in it constructor so got a def init method which is standard to Python in general it would take only the self instance in this case because that's literally enough and here uh, so we need to provide the post codes content variable that would be so let's call this content empty string and now we need to open post codes.txt file and here I can say with open and I'm using this post codes.txt I will read the file string as file and here I say for line in f.read and I want to populate the content by line and eventually I want to parse the content so I can say like self.headers uh, sorry not self.headers self.postcodes would be equal to content I want to split this by the new lines and I want to print self.post goes just to figure that out if there would be actually any empty uh, elements within the list or not so I'm just opening the uh, terminal of the current working directory and by simply typing python3 commercial sale I'm starting the scraper let's have a look what we got here okay okay we got this one empty which is not good all the other post codes seems to be just pretty fine so in order to avoid this behavior we need to say list filter by none and this is kind of it actually uh, don't have don't uh, don't uh, look at this error because that's because we, we didn't really yet crawl anything within the scraper within the spider so uh, I just want to have yeah now the postal code seems to be just just perfect okay so from now on uh, we can actually uh, start providing our uh, what is known as the crawler's entry point so we have a standard method uh, we say def start requests and start requests is the standard method from uh, regarding the scrape that is spider the base spider class we are inheriting from it would take only the self instance and that's kind of it and before actually we, s we loop over uh, post codes uh, we need to uh, every time we need to reinitialize our current page counter that's very important otherwise it would end up with a completely disaster during handling the pagination so here I set reset current page counter so I say self dot current page would be equal back to 2 
because the next page would be page two, page three, and so on. There is no page one. Okay. And now we need to loop over the postcode, so I can simply say for postcode in self dot postcodes, uh, and here. Well, let's first just try to print our postcode to make sure that we got it correctly. And probably, yeah, uh, probably we can already actually. Well, let's do this once. Okay, we got our postcode. So now we need to uh, formulate the URL. So let's create this like generate next postcode URL. So next postcode would be equal to self dot base URL plus uh, I want to stringify the postcode and append the slash at the very end and that would be that I hope that would be literally enough so let's have a look at the next postcode and run this again so uh, let's kind of let's try one of those. I don't guarantee that this would work because uh, the, there there might be just no data available. Well, but yeah, I was lucky. So here we got some data up to twelve, uh, tw uh, up to twelve listings. So perfect. So uh, which means that actually the link that we've generated is literally just fine. So this is it's it's a valid link actually. Okay, so. Uh, let's move on basically. So as far as we got this uh, legal link, valid link, we actually can crawl next postcode URL. Okay, and here we need to say something like yield scrapey dot request and now we need to provide a bunch of parameters, but before that uh, I want to provide a couple more things. So uh, I want to provide the postcodes counter variable, so I'll create the count uh, that would be equal to 0 to 1. Yeah, here uh, we need to implement current postcode uh, counter. And this is needed just for the debugging purposes, so it would be easier to see where exactly we are in our really huge crawling process. So I can say counter count, counter plus equals one here. And I just want to break after making the first request to avoid torturing the target site for a while. So Okay, and now we need to provide. Now we can actually provide all our stuff. So the URL would be equal to the next postcode. Then we got our headers. That would be equal to self dot headers. And we need our callback function. We will call the callback function self dot parse cards and. Parse, yeah, parse links actually, not the parse cards, parse card links like like that. And also, I would like to provide uh, the metadata along with the request right over in here. So here we would have three elements: so the post code and the current post code we're crawling through. So this would be the post code like this. And okay, also we need to provide the file name actually. So. Uh, uh, here uh, I would let myself to actually reuse some of the code that I've written before. So let me see this one in particular. So this is the file name. Uh, I will now quickly go through the process of how, how do we create this. So mm, this should be initialized very beginning of the start request so I'm just creating creating the variable file name and it would be writing the file to output folder this one yeah I call this file commercial sale and then I'm appending the current day time and I'm con converting this to this like specific format and append the JSON L uh, extension at the very end so JSON L is the bare, is like the bare JSON format but uh, it just uh, like JSON object separated 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 <laughs> oh my god separated by separated 
separated by new line okay yeah, it took me for about six attempts to say the word separated right <laughs> okay so the postcode the file name uh, would it be equal to the file name here and also count would it be equal to count like this so this is it regarding the stored requests and now we can actually provide provide our parse links uh, callback function. So I say dev parse links, and it would it would take two uh, arguments. So the first one is a self instance, as always in Python, and the second one would be the response object. So before doing anything else, I just want to print so that we got a callback successfully. So. Uh, and I'll hold my breath and try to run this stuff. Uh, I hope to get the 200 response because, again, like without these hitters, I really didn't didn't manage to do that yet. So let's make sure that we're not printing anything unnecessary here. Seems like okay. Let's go. So yeah, we got our callback. So thank God we got a 200 response, which is pretty nice. And now. Uh, again like just just in order to avoid well i could have actually used scrapey shell to try to extract the so uh, i guess we will need so do we have the price uh title uh so the address is not that brilliant so maybe we would have been so we don't have address here as well okay so probably the address is about to be extracted from over in here, I guess. Mm. Let me see what we got here. So, uh, U map. Well, if we got the coordinates, uh, it still would be fine. I'm just wondering. Uh, so, is the address really? So sometimes I'm forwarding the address from the card list and right over in here and to the next level, but here I can't see much reason for that. Yeah, so probably it's just addresses available in this like way. So yeah, uh, let's let's move on. This this like matters. So got a okay phone number but phone number is available as well the price is also available so everything seems to be available in the listing so the data is duplicated so this is pretty nice so the only thing we actually need here uh, okay uh, uh i would try to uh actually inspect this this sort of a card and i will try but hold on a second. On the other hand, we would need uh, this response to actually find the proper selector for the pagination as well to calculate the total pages number over there. It would be better to have actually uh, three, at least three pages. But still, it's, there is there there is no 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 not not that much data regarding offices for some reason. Okay. Okay, so I would probably it would have been better just to store the response actually, and yeah. So um, usually I'm doing this at the level of the first uh, listing, but here uh, I would make an exception. So uh, just wondering what's the, what's the better way of doing this. And so apart from that, we also need to extract the metadata. From the response object, I'm not. I'm just thinking. Uh, well, okay. So let's first extract our metadata, and I will just command this out uh, in a moment. So we need our post code. So would it be response dot meta dot get and the post code and same for same for file name and count okay file name and count 
okay but we just don't want this for well uh actually now we can still leave this so now let's store html response to local file so um, i say like with open and let's call this cards html and i want to write the file stream as file and f dot write and response dot text so hopefully to get the cards dot html file at the very end so counter referenced oh my god oh i call this counter it should have be called actually account not counter Mm, count save well but i hope that the response is still just seems to be like it's fine it's a bit laggy so just close close that okay so we don't need this code for a while well you know like i just get rid of this code so uh as far as i'm not gonna uh, be leaving this code in the production version i'm not gonna be commanding this much so now let's define the content variable and say with open uh, cards cards html and read the file stream as file so for line in f dot read i say content plus equals line and I'm initializing the selector here, so response will be equal to selector and text equals to content. So from now on, we can actually get rid of this stuff just for a while. And I want to command out the crawling process being started, and instead, I would say commercial sale dot parse links so i'm debugging the bare parse links here uh method so i'm sending the commercial sale uh instance followed by the fake faked faked response object here. so we got this response initialized as a selector and let's try to print our response so okay got 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 this selector object perfect so now we would be using this response object in order to uh extract uh, the data that we're interested in in regards to this particular page so first we need to loop over the card links right so if we just inspect so i already did inspect this right so uh picture article yeah so let's consider this one this article and we will go through this kind of article so I'll copy the class entirely and so let's try to loop over property cards and I say for card in response dot css and we're looking for for an article uh yeah for an article tag and the class equals to this sort of stuff and let's actually try to print a card string to visually see how many cards we got there so well this is strange only three cards can be true because we have way more than three cards in particular so this is this is really strange so probably I don't know oh so maybe they have maybe they have a different multimedia container hmm just wondering it's it's more more articles here and I have no idea why why I got only four
yeah now this seems to be already kind of the truth so mm, now from then there are this card we, we need uh, to try to extract uh, links I say card dot CSS dot get so let's have a look what kind of H reference we got with an average uh, article so it's, it's uh, okay let's let's consider say this one okay uh, picture I guess yeah n no a tags okay so item info container well I guess just taking the verb first okay we have this item item link class okay perfect copy so a tag class item link is this space matters monitoring and let's try to extract the attribute of each reference okay so let's have a look yeah it seems like we got our uh like we got our property card list and so let's consider the very first one well uh, let me actually try to convert with this one so eight six three eight five seven fourteen it's not available okay so may maybe these are some kind of top advertisement or something I don't know so these four are kind of different so probably we're starting with this one in particular mm. uh, okay just wondering well this should be it so why not to eight six three yeah this is it right this is it okay eight six three eight six oh no it's not mm. Eight eight zero zero. Nope. Not this one. Not this one. Eight eight zero zero. Five zero zero two. Yeah, starting from this one actually. Mm, I'm not sure why it doesn't really crawl through. why do they have a different okay guys you know like what if I try to hold on a sec what if I try to contains Brandon maybe what if I just try to this item multimedia container uh, this seems to be the same can I do this like so nope mm. okay and if I just use this item bear item still not this is getting strange okay so I'm just wondering what's the difference between these cards item item contains Brandon okay item high top oh item high top yeah so and this these guys don't contain the high top mm. so yeah th these are more <laughs> more prepaid kind of guys here <laughs> uh, well so in this case I could probably make use of contains Brandon contains Brandon item high top well maybe I can go slightly different ways so just try to extract the card slightly different so cards would be equal to and nope response css 
process article class this like so we got the first four and then mm, so here we are actually extracting uh, high high top cards okay and here we need to extract all the other cards so uh, we can say like so now, now we have you know we have this loop so in these but just trying to get real rid of this high top save and instead of printing the stuff uh, as far as these guys uh, seems to be the selectors can I just say like cards dot append? Oh no 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 not like this. Uh, I just need. Uh, you know like no we will we'll go slightly different way. So let's say cards high top and cards like casual. I don't know and so this would be the same unless, uh, apart from this okay and and also uh, here I would be storing card URLs so card uh, I call this property listings basically. Okay, card. Let's go. Let's call this this time. Let's call this card URLs. So this would be a list. So first we need to loop uh, over. So for card in cards high top. So here extract uh, high top cards card urls and a band card dot css and let me just uh, okay uh, A tag class I guess item link don't remember item link followed by the space right attribute of H reference and get one right and here a loop over property cards so for Property card card URLs so for card URL in card URLs. Let's print card URL. Okay. Strange why we got nothing here, but let's have a look. So cards, not the cards. We don't have these cards. We have card URLs. S quite a bit strange. Is this called item link? Come on. Uh, item link, yeah. H reference. Okay, let's try to print it over in here first. Mm, 
Okay, and what about casual? So is there is there a different selector? I'm I'm just wondering. Come on. Okay, this is very strange. So okay, let's just brand the bearer card. So four has to be uh, so uh, high. It's uh, probably maybe something wrong with the parent selectors. Okay, we don't iterate at all over these guys. I have no idea why this is happening. So. Oh, okay. It's an empty list. You're kidding me, man. Come on. This this can't be truth. So So, okay, just copy this article class right was it a class it was a class right so based this is very strange it just it just worked actually hmm running the script I'm supposed to run yeah hopefully okay Casual. I have no idea why suddenly they started to be uh, empty here it's com com complete nonsense to be honest you know like Okay guys, I, I have completely no idea why this can happen, so let me just try to open this cards HTML locally and trying to view the page source and trying to get this class actually, so I have no idea why actually I don't I don't get anything here. So it's it's four elements, right? So this is the article, right? Did I sp spell? Oh, I sp <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, uh, sorry. So just I need to le learn how to spell article correctly. Article. Article. So, yeah, now this should work. Now this should work. So. Now I'm supposed to get the first four, okay, and with exact exactly the one uh, I have right over in here, right? So, what is this? Okay, yeah, perfect. And uh, now I need to grab all the rest, guys, from from the casual. So. Extract casual cards, so casual cards URLs, and yeah, now I got the entire set. Perfect. So from now on, I can uh, start crawling through these guys. So yeah, this is really nice. But yeah, so look over property cards. Yeah, so right over in here. Uh, we can actually crawl a property listing uh, and I can simply say like yield 
and scrape that request the euro would be equal to the card euro and the hitters would be equal to so hitters and regarding the meta so we will need uh, what do we need here so we don't need count anymore at the property listing layer but we need still we'll, we definitely need the post code because it's the part of the data set of the final data set so post code would be equal to post code and the file name it's going to be equal to file name as well this like and finally let's define the callback function here this would be equal to self dot parse listing like this okay perfect so uh now there are two major approaches uh in this project so the first one is actually to provide the very uh, uh the very main logic regarding uh Pagination uh, 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 regarding scraping the data from the particular property listings. So implemented this self parse listing method, and the other stuff would be to actually uh, create the pagination handler. So uh, I will start with the pagination handler, and because uh, you know, like you need to be very accurate uh, during writing that, and, and I don't really want to spend lots of time on that. So I would just try to reuse the code. Uh, created before and quickly explain what the code is doing in particular so take it from here okay so here is the block uh, try to handle pagination okay so just copy this entire stuff so we don't need post codes and parse links yes yeah, just somewhere over in here uh first uh i just uh i don't wanna do anything here for a while so we'll just command this out and here so we need to extract the total pages which we will do just right in the moment basically and yeah so we don't do we print something right over in here okay uh, okay, so we've got to be really, really careful here. So, okay, so let's basically start the. Uh, uh, let's okay, let's start with the pagination handling. So, if we have a look at this page source, well, maybe let's try to inspect the element first, and if it works. So we need to ins inspect this guy, so it's the user list within the div class pagination, so let's try to extract that, so so total pages div class, in this case it's called pagination, and then we're, we, we extract the CSS, so all the list items like... Um, Selected more results. Selected nope. Okay, so let's actually try to extract uh, all the text recursively from the uh, child elements from the list item uh, from the list items. And then, uh, so th this 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 part might have differed. So I don't want this for a while. Instead, let me just try to print total pages just to have an idea of what kind of list it is at the moment. So let's have a look. So we don't have this. Oh come on. Uh, This should uh, maybe this it accepts something. I'm not sure. Like, mm, hold on a sec. Let's 
so I have no idea why actually I can get to here completely. Uh, so I'm calling the parse links, right? What's going on? Parse links. Commercial sale parse links. It's a complete nonsense, to be honest. Why is this wrong? Hmm. Okay, guys, so probably, yeah, I need to go just kind of step by step here because otherwise it doesn't seem to work properly. So let's pass this stuff again in here. Mm. So it just throws an exception silently somewhere and doesn't work. Uh, so this try accept. I just want to try accept this part at the moment and okay perfect so mm, okay so now we need to uh, extract only the numbers from from this list and also convert them to integers so uh, let's let's go for this basically so Rent. So here it'll probably. No, it doesn't throw an exception, but it's not what we need in particular. So, uh, do we have. So we don't need to replace and strip anything here. Okay. So just to uh, make the page integer. And here, if page not replace. If page is digit like this, okay. Uh, hold on a sec, but why this? So it was kind of right. We just know don't need to strip anything, right? Uh, okay. Oh, it's Python 3. Oh my god. <laughs> 3, 2. So. The total page is equals to 2. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So the total page is equals to 2. So if I just I just want to say that if I just get rid of this max, uh, then we get a list of the pages available here. So we just need to pick up the verb, uh, the, the biggest values, the maximum value. It's 2. So perfect. Now we got our total pages been extracted. Uh, Okay, and also uh, I just want to provide some precise debugging uh, in regards to in regards to current page counter. So let's print the solve current page. Well, I guess this should be available actually. But we got this 3 equals to 3, yeah, because it, it was starting with a 2. So, well, in this case, probably we can start with 1, actually. And here, uh, reset to 1 as well. And in this case, I guess it, it would be 2. Okay. So we did increment our current page. Perfect. Okay, and it's actually it's much better to to check that out on, on a, some sort of a postal code that involves that actually has more than uh, two pages at least three pages would be fine, but still. Okay, so otherwise the total pages equals to one and self current page equals to one. Mm. Okay, 
so let's try to say if current page is less or equals total pages right so this next page uh, is not what we need definitely and we don't need to crawl anything at the moment so let's simply try to print yeah this kind of current page and total pages okay and here is somewhere where we also need to print information regarding the postcodes okay mm. so you want to say we didn't get in here so if current page oh and the total pages and the total page oh, okay hold on a second we, we just extracted the total pages so again like print total, total pages so total two pages and current page self current page would be equal to also two so if self current page is less or equals Okay, maybe he just fails right over in here. I'm not sure though. So okay, now we got this. So page two of two uh yeah otherwise it, it, it's been accepted by this strike some statement so something was kind of run over in here i guess so let's try to print the next page and here we probably got some error okay so self base url okay and so do we oh we don't have a postcode right yeah we just don't have a postcode so the postcode would be so yeah we need to mimic this like behavior of great of generating link so string postcode yeah it won't work uh, as far as we are uh, in the debugging mode but it should work yeah so uh, when we really crawl in the site actually so just paste and plus plus so well let's say postcode what we have here to one uh, to eight zero zero one let's have a look okay so I'm just trying to debug this particular uh, so to render generate the next page link yeah so if we just go to the page number two I need this pagina to HTML so uh, so after after the slash we need to say plus paste this stuff Okay, and here instead of this two, we need to stringify the self current page. And now just to prettify this slide a little bit, I would like to say next page plus equals this stuff. And now let's have a look at, at our next page generator again. So seems like it is generated the proper in the proper way so based the same right yeah it seems like well perfect so now we got our uh, next page being generated correctly and 
so here we would be using the postcode just not to forget that and well uh, I would probably uh, yeah I would probably make this postcode so it will be accepting this but it doesn't matter so now we need to crawl the next page so what we got here so URL next URL headers and for the next page we need all the set of meta so postcode file name and count right okay seems to seems to be seems to be right and the callback is just, just recursively call, calling the parse links perfect okay so uh okay so this one would be accepted now and here i want just to print the debugger information regarding the current post code so print and post code and the post code we got uh, and then current out of total post codes so here we would say like so the post code would be the post code which again won't be available at the moment so let's use this to, to zero like this so uh, i will just uh, uh, replace this in a moment and then self dot no not like this here we got a count and here we got the length of self post codes okay i just want to debug this <laughs> printed the debugging information well for some reason uh i'm not sure is this because of this stuff uh, this this might happen actually so um, Oh, it actually can't yield the response any anyway. So yeah, let me just try to command the entire part. So now it should have print. Still doesn't. My God, what else? What else do you do you need here? So what's wrong? Tell me, please. Name count is not defined. What do you mean name count? Oh, it's not defined because, yeah, it's again within the meta container. Okay, so this should work. Uh, this should work. So let's leave the post code here. Save. And try to uncomment this part. So I, know, I just now want to quickly check uh, this pigeonation crawling logic. But before that, I would probably obtain the uh, version of the property listing to be able to provide the person logic later on so if something happens horrible like s getting banned or something uh, okay so post code here post code count length okay perfect so now we can recommend this guys okay so now I probably don't need this anymore right save and so we pass in right over in here and okay so now I hope to crawl two pages but before that before that before that first I just command the crawling logic completely probably doesn't man manage the indentation well no it does okay so and let's provide our parse list and just in order to store the response so the parse property card listen and here we say def uh or list you know guys i'm already freezing believe it or not so this is quite pre pre quite pretty cold outside 
Yeah, but unfortunately I can't, I can't get in because my wife is busy there, so... Self instance followed by the response object like this. Okay, and I just store, store this stuff so with open... Uh, let's call this listin.html and I want to write the false uh, I want to write the false trim as file have dot write and actually our response dot text. Okay, so now I need to uncommand the crawling logic so I hopefully don't need this anymore. Uh, well actually uh, I could have leave this because just uh, changed the name uh, of the method to call so I will still use that later on okay so hold hold my breath and try this again hope to see the listens.html file in return didn't i did i get that missing oh man url oh not sorry sorry guys i didn't mean the scrape no not scrape request but instead here we need to say response dot follow like this I'm really sorry for torturing you, dear site, idealista, okay. Stop, 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 oh my god, what have you done? Oh, he did crawl through lots of them. Uh, what have I done? Well, it's still, it's still it's good that it actually works. And I'm just wondering, why is this so... It seems like... Did I spell something wrong within the concurrent request per domain or download delay? It's strange why this was so fast. I have no idea. Uh, well, okay, so at least now we got our list in HTML, which is perfect. So, concurrent request per domain. I'm just wondering. Okay guys, just hold on a sec. Okay, so as far as we did get did get this list in HTML, I hope, hope that works for me. Uh, okay, so before starting actually our data extraction first, uh, I would like to uh, would like to test if the pigeonation crawling logic works here or not. So okay now so I command all of this stuff. So what am I supposed to see now? So I'm supposed to see this postcode of postcodes and then once getting in here to crawl the page number two so let's see okay so we got crawled okay so we got the initial one and got a postcodes and then the page counter and then we did crawl through the second page yeah this is perfect so seems like pagination working is, is working uh, pretty nicely okay so uh, from now on uh, I need to provide the data extraction logic so instead of parse links uh, I would like to parse list in here and all the same steps basically so parse links parse list and oh, okay so we don't need this anymore so we can actually say just read this mm, uh, we would also need extract metadata so here we'll, we'll, we'll be using the postcode one day so it would be equal to response dot meta dot get postcode and also the file name and that's it so no count at this point so file name and file name here but again like at the moment I would just like to comment these guys out so 
because we're working outside the response uh, the request context so it's not a real response so again creating the content variable and read or uh, line in f dot read And initializing our selector. So again, we're fake, we are faking the response object. It would be equal to selector and text equals to content. And here I need to so let's print the response. So again, I hope to see the selector object. So um, hold on a sec. Let's have a look at the content. So we got a content. I'm just wondering why. Oh, Reese Bones. Okay, now I got this way. Perfect. Okay, so now we'd like to reference my existing data set again just mm, yeah. so here, here is the data set actually so it, it takes really lots of information so yeah this this is just pretty fine so I just grab the entire data set and here we all can already provide the data logic so I'm creating the features variable so probably just grab this entirely right nope so I need to create the features variable it would be the type of Python dictionary so the first three would have been taken from the uh, either the meter container or well uh, in case anyway this this three are uh, uh, need, needs the response context to be within in order to extract this data. So uh, I'll be debugging this part. Uh, ID your on the postcode just uh, when I get done with all the rest. And here, let me just uh, get rid of all all the necessary uh, stuff right over in here. So, by the way, if agent name and phone would be available, this would be nice as well. So, okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. So, yeah, uh, in the previous scraper, the most, the most of data been parsed, but then uh, try accept statements basically. So, coordinates, uh, probably. I need to close the dictionary, right? And here I just want to say print JSON dumps and features and indentation equals to two spaces. So let's have a look. Okay, so now we got our empty data set, and from now on, let's actually try to provide uh, our data extraction logic here. So, uh, I think we've stored exactly this, uh, this kind of uh, HTML in particular in response. So let's try to consider starting with the title and move on further and move further on respectively. So uh, okay, so this seems to be pretty nice selector here available. So copy span class. Okay, title. Mm. Response.css and we're looking for a span tag with a class equals to this info title main and we want to extract text out of it and just to get the, the one element of our first and the last one. Okay, got this office for sale in Cali de so on. So is this yeah, seems like. Now we need to go to th uh, for the address, and unfortunately, address is not that perfect here, but still, 
main info title block main info title minor okay so this this is called title minor so i'm just wondering is any address available maybe somewhere within the media uh, tank or something so just have a look at the page source and try to find the address uh, well one day we could have extracted this from the javascript wearable but before that what okay this advertiser prefers not to show the exact address but it's in this area well so this is this this is pretty understandable actually mm-hmm well okay so let's consider actual this main title minor uh meaning for title minor uh, so it's a span right so response css and span class this one text and get okay perfect so now let's go for price right so let's have a look at the price uh, this seems to be like the floor area and I'm wondering is this the rent price or oh it's just the price in regards to okay so text info data price okay okay I'm just wondering is this data being duplicated somewhere so like okay like price per mm, price per meter like that two seven six six is there the one no, it's not. Well, let's just forget that in that, in that case. So uh, let's actually take this one. And there, there would be one more span actually. So price response.css and span class. And again about CSS and span. Well, we, we could have considered text bolt. Let's consider this class DXD bolt and text get. So this should work for us. Okay, got a price and but hold on a sec i'm just wondering why i didn't pick up this euro currency uh, why i didn't oh so let's actually instead of doing so yeah let's go slightly di different way i would like to say extract text recursively from the children elements trying to get all okay okay and now i just want to join these guys so okay now it's much better so so this is the unicode for the euro currency okay image url so i'll deal with this guys slightly later on uh i need the floor so here uh okay so this surface areas maybe no it's not so let's create the floor area here so floor area my client really likes when the floor area is available actually so we can say bones css and 
let's have a look what selector is available here so info features info tag info features well i guess this could have been stored within the floor area of the both values actually they are available Mm. Okay, let's try to consider the info features. They might not be unique, by the way. So let's see div class info features, and again trying to extract all the text recursively and get all. Well, we could have actually make it like considering the verb first element but no it's a bad idea so mm. let's modify this slightly a bit so I'm using the list comprehension technique here to filter the list slightly so can say text dot get dot strip I think this should work for text in this list response CSS so let's have a look yeah and now we can filter the uh, empty elements so I say list filter none this okay and now we can join this stuff entirely by the empty space I guess join and just like okay so uh, I'm not really sure that the floor area that floor area is stored along with the price for the uh, one square meter actually I'm not sure if this is a good idea actually if they like this so I'm not sure if this is a good idea to be honest but on the other hand spam Where, where should I store this one in this case? This could have been stored uh, within the price and this is this is okay so yeah uh, I'll do this slightly bit different way so instead of all, all of this all this disaster, I would simply say like uh, let's try to search for the span and this span would actually take all the text and get all so Let's consider it again. And also, so I want uh, I want the the very first element. So in order to do this, mm, this won't work probably. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't. So, mm, maybe the bare HTML and wrap this. Yeah, this is it. So now I can just use the selector. So, selector 
tax equals to all we've done over in here. And this is it, right? Uh, and here we can say dot CSS and now try to extract all the text. So, no, no, hold on a sec. Uh, uh, Yeah, this is right. CSS and let's have a look. Floor area. Yeah, perfect. You see, like we got only the floor area. That's it. So now we need. Uh, Filter list, so so just in order to fill the list, this list, I would say text uh, so we don't need to get all right. So I say text.get and for text in this list and I want to strip the text okay and now fill filter the list so list filter and none and one parenthesis is for the join so Okay. Okay, now it's much better. So the only thing we can join by the empty space there. Okay. Yeah, this is much better. And uh, now literally the same, but for the very probably for the second element, but it might not be available all of the time. So in this case, we could have extract price with. So I'm not I'm not sure that it's, this cannot be always available this this kind of part, but we can say the same in regards to the floor area as well at some point. So it would be more safe to place this uh, to place this stuff into the try accept statement below so extract a floor area and I say like features floor area to be equal to all this stuff we just created mm, okay so let's see if no error is still invalid syntax floor area. Oh, uh, so yeah, now we got the same results, but it's more safe at the moment. So here we can see try and just accept this if not available and that's it so if it's not available the floor area would remain empty and that's kind of it and now I want to make something similar in regards to our price so extract price so features uh, so okay features Okay, hold on a sec. You know, like uh, the price uh, would be always available. So hold on a sec. We can just try to join that, uh, and that's it. So yeah, yeah. So uh, we can say features price and plus equals, and now this stuff uh, right over in here. Copy, but with the only difference that actually. 
so the only difference using oh, let's try the index of one here and yeah let's have a look at the price so no it's definitely not a, what I wanted to see but uh, then let's try Okay, but it extracts the floor area instead, so info features selector so span. Oh, exactly not exactly I'm just trying to so how did I manage to get the very first span get all and one and zero okay maybe just this would work yeah now this works so also within the price I would probably like to this like yeah so now we got this per a square meter price for this sort of property so yeah uh, perfect now now I like this way more so this could be parsed uh, you're in the data processing for the machine learning uh, purposes so brilliant just brilliant so let's move on let's move on basically so the floor area okay got this we did uh, update the price slightly okay so I don't know image URLs it usually takes long to consider well let's see if we can do this quickly if we can so here here we got so it's also the videos available here but well actually so let's have a look Why I can't right click this? I'm wondering. Very strange. Okay, so let's search for the image tags. So now this one. Okay, this one seems to be one we need. So no, it's the advertise advertiser, not this one. So maybe this one profile photos. Hmm, this is strange really. Mm -hmm. It has a, a Google recapture somewhere over in here for some reason I don't know why but okay mm. not really clear regarding the image URLs okay so I just don't want to waste time for this at this moment because it's not the most ever important part okay guys sorry uh, yesterday I had to stop recording this video due to some reasons and uh, I will actually keep going from where I stopped yesterday and also I didn't really want to break this into two videos on YouTube just to keep the things uh, I didn't want to keep things separate just wanted, want, wanted to unite them instead so 
let's have a look where we've, we've stopped. So, yeah, I remember I was suffering on trying to grab the image URLs and that wasn't really that trivial. So, probably, yeah, I decided to drop that for a while. So, yeah, now let's actually try to uh, extract the key features in the description instead. So, uh, okay, so this, this is the description actually. So, let's have a look. At if, the, if if it does have some sort of a unique uh, AD language expandable, so is this div kind of unique one? Well, it seems like this is pretty nice. So I just want to grab this class and let's go to description, full description right over here, and I can simply say response.css and try to find the div with the class equals to this one. And I guess I need to. Um, maybe I don't need to grab the text recursively. No, I, I do have because because of this br text. Yeah. So uh, I just want to grab the entire text out of there and prop from the child elements as well. Not sure if the br tag tags are considered to be the child child elements, but we'll see. And try to get all. And let's have a look what we got there. Okay, so the description seems to be pretty nice, and yeah, uh, also I remember like uh, uh, I used to keep this just this like manner because that's the way my, my client prefers the information to be uh, presented instead of just providing this as a strangest as a list. Okay, now let's go to the key features. So, okay, so these are the basic features. Okay, this regards the building. Amenities, not sure what is this, okay. And do we have something apart here? Yeah, well, we would also need to uh, get this pricing properties as well. And yeah, if available, longitude and latitude coordinates mm, and advertiser. Okay, so. So when the when this list is uh, updated also might be interesting so yeah let's literally try to scrape anything available so uh, let's kick start with the basic features I just want to have a look is there a way is there an easy way to extract that so we have a user list so okay with the list items so what about uh, okay and this oh, okay so they all are my god, what a nice sight. Okay, let me just uh, adjust the brightness of my screen slightly a bit. Okay, so let's go for uh, actually this one. So just copy and so this would be the key features actually. So yeah, I don't even need to put them before, put them after this features dictionary even, I guess. So let's try response.css and we're looking for a div tag with a class equals to this this kind of stuff. And we can also, I guess we can skip the uh, user list or, or we don't need. So I'm just wondering, I just tried to get the text from all the list items is this gonna get only what I need or something more uh, okay so key features okay and storeroom perch sheep so uh, I could have stripped this as well so storeroom okay so it grabs the entire part so uh, I'm just wondering if if I kind of put this uh, user list in between is this what will this help let's see so user list okay because yeah no it doesn't well not not good really but so it would be better just to distinguish between these features let me try to see uh, okay so details property features yeah, so probably I can make use of the selector here. So uh, if okay, so if I use a selector and the text would it be equal to this response data? 
and oh no. And actually, yeah, I want to get all, get all. But no, uh, I, I just probably. Or hold on a sec, guys. Hold on a sec. Why? Uh, uh, I'm. Uh, uh, that's too complicated, actually. I just consider the user list. I just can try to use get instead, and that's it. Or, or will this give me only? Will this give me only? Yeah, the first one. No, it's not the way. Okay, so let's go back to initial idea. So. Uh, okay, get all uh, the first element. So, uh, and I don't need. Or hold on a sec. I don't even need. Uh, I don't even need get all. I just can get this single. Uh, yeah, I guess I can get the single div. So let's have a look if the it's proper so it ends up with this ECI not indicated uh, ECI not indicated yeah perfect so and now let's just turn this into a selector so selector text equals and now uh, I can say uh, dot CSS the list items and all the text and get all save yeah uh, but hold on a sec why oh it takes only screen layout I'm not sure screen layout to park in built in oh so this is still like the basic feature right and energy energy yeah so this is just perfect now okay so the key features are acceptable perfect so now let's move on basically so building this is what we'll, we'll, what I have here as a building fabric so uh, let's consider okay so uh, div class detailed property feature well I guess this one should work so I just copy it and so here I will try to grab the code, but just try to use a different selector instead. Hopefully it works. So here... Or hold on a sec, is this... Oh my god, it's also the detailed... Mm. Uh, Yeah, it's not it's not a good idea so maybe some property detail features okay so they all are the same uh, but if I if I would be using some sort of an indexing in that case probably probably I will need to try accept them. So, uh, so what I want to say here, so I just need to say get all and try this kind of element, and now we will grab exactly what we need, I guess. Right, emergency lights. Yeah, up to emer emergency lights starting from semi-based exterior, right? But uh, this index, uh, this this involves indexing, right? So it, it, it could have failed one day. That means that we need to extract this right over in here. So here I would like to say extract building fabric, and I say features building fabric would be equal to this sort of a selector. Okay, now let me just try to purify this like a little bit. Mm. So it's probably uh. okay. So yeah, also unfortunately I, I guess I can do it like this, so
but this should work. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, it seems like it's working. So now I also, as far as this uh, kind of index might not exist, we need to try accept this stuff for, for, for the future possible exceptions. So accept here and just pass because otherwise we would have just a bare empty list and that's kind of it. So uh, what else do we need here? So now literally the same thing uh, should be done with the amenities. So just copy this and paste extract amenities. So I didn't yet have this amenities, right? Amenities, okay. So it's all the same, but I'm using amenities here and I also need to create this like key over in here so it would be a list as well and here I would like to use the index of two which is the third element in the row so let's have a look uh, okay here are our amenities but for some reason oh okay so hold on a sec why the building fabric started being like Oh, I, I, I did this in the wrong place, I'm sorry, so this should be one, okay, so hold on a sec, no, it's it's the price, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not exactly what I wanted, so building fabric, it's gonna be one, this would be two, and let's see if it didn't break the price yet, so yeah, the price should be just fine, floor area, okay, now we got the key features, the building fabric, and the amenities. But for, for some reason we have this uh, non-strip, so let's try to strip them as well. So, uh, as far as this selector is giving us, uh, this selector is giving us a list. In return we can just filter this the following way, so we can say simply like text for so text actually dot strip and for text in this selector list so now we should have yeah so now it, it's gone you see so exactly the same uh, is need to be done regarding the amen uh, amenities as well so so text dot strip and for text in this list okay okay perfect so now we got this uh, items been stripped perfectly well so this is great actually and the surface areas okay so yeah let's see let's see what we got else so uh, but hold on a sec uh, I'm wondering regarding this energy certificate. It doesn't seem to be available, right? So only these guys. Okay, so let's skip to the bottom here. So uh, we need also to. Well, actually, this pricing is already available, like uh, within the price itself. So price of the property, price per meter. Well, but actually we could have tried to extract this price from here as well so i just want to have a look so how is this done price feature container uh or maybe i, I could have just go for some sort of sort of an additional uh let's uh okay uh <laughs> what have i done what have i done so copy and this is section yeah class feature container so mm, extract price so this would be literally the same but uh i think that this should be just fine so try to extract prices so here we can say like or hold on a sec we probably don't even need to do this right over in here right so let's try and do let's try to do this right over in here instead so mm, 
let's call this price details and here we got like response css and we're looking for a section tag with a class equals to this stuff and to extract all the text recursively and trying to get all and let's see what happens okay uh, floor area okay we got a comma so okay so well i guess we could we could have just simply make a counter offer receive an alert yeah so i will just get rid of this so i will strip every yeah i will strip every stuff here and yeah so uh i'll go this like way so I say tax dot get dot strip no need for this get all anymore and for text in this list so now we should get all this stuff been stripped and now we can filter by the non elements so we can simply say like list filter none and this is it basically so now we got our prices, I guess, right? Yeah, so price property, price per square meter, counter all for price, and things like that. So this is it, kind of, guys. So now we got our price details being extracted as well, which is perfect. Okay, so let's move further on. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this sort of a stuff, is this really is this really valuable so idealista hypothecus okay well this might be interesting actually but I'm not sure if um, so well let's try to extract uh, this as well so let's call this taxes or I'm not sure how, how it would be better to um, how to call this section so probably this hypothecus well I'm not sure if this is a, a Spain actually language I just just want to check that out if, if, if this is like word exists in English actually so it would probably yeah Spanish okay and if we just try to you translate this in English. Okay, let me hear this. Hippotechas. Wow. Hippotechas. Okay, so let's consider this one as well. Uh, I would try to consider them after actually the price details, right? Seems logical here. So. And let me just get back to the selector again. So simulator container so uh, i just want to grab the entire text from there that's kind of it so response dot css and what is section right section class equals to this simulator container and we try to extract all the text recursively and get all so let's have a look uh, so don't well so maybe this is not available uh, oh probably it's rendered by JavaScript that's the reason why I've, why I've never been scraping this well actually uh, uh, I really doubt that this is interesting to my client because this is kind of calculatable uh, by this uh, by available values already so I guess maybe not really that much so let's try this to search by price expenses or even like uh, it's better like this simulator container I'm just wondering if this simulator container is available well hold on a sec oh it's an ID it's not a class I'm sorry guys so this is the ID instead so maybe we can just scrape something now uh, okay perfect yeah so 
Uh, now we can do literally the same thing as we, we've done over in here, so just... Yeah, so let's try this. So we, can, we need to list, filter, none, and then start our list. Strip and uh, sorry dot get first to get the textual data and then strip and hmm this is a bit strange oh that's because sorry okay so let's have a look at our Hypoticus. Uh, okay, it's pretty nice, yeah. This is pretty nice. Uh, well, we could have also tried to. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good idea to get rid of this percentage signs. Well, uh, I guess this could have made sense, so. Replace dash with a nothing and replace this percentage sign. I guess it's kind of pretty self explanatory as is without this. Well, might be wrong though, but yeah. Uh, But hold on a sec, I can't see taxes and expenses. I can see just the bare Unicode, but where is... Oh, that's because... Yeah, that's probably... That's because they they are calculated dynamically, yeah. So let's consider this number. So I'd bet that it's it won't be available here. Right? Yeah, it's probably calculated what, what JavaScript. So yeah, that, let's just get rid of this disaster. So we don't need this because yeah, it's, it's, it's not a point. Here. So we can calculate that during the data process. That would be a better way rather than uh, compared to scraping. Okay, so uh, yeah, also this location uh, is sensitive. So let's try this to find this location actually. So div id here map and the user list there, so copy and actually I would love to say like, so uh, so we don't need this, all these guys and instead I would I want to provide the location and CSS, what kind of tag here? Div ID, so div and ID equals to heater map and try to extract all the list items text. So I'm not sure if it really gives me exactly what I want here. Let's have a look. So the location, okay, Madrid, capital Madrid, yeah, seems like, seems like what I need, okay, so I just only want to strip this stuff as well, so, so, text.get and strip. Yeah, now it got him stripped. Okay, so we got a, our location, which is pretty nice as well. So it's, I, I already start, started to like this data set. So, yeah, now some minor things like agent information left and the image URLs yeah, also should be done. So, yeah, uh, I would probably now go. So, okay, so uh, this updated date is also might be sensible. So, 
this is known as AD stat A I uh, stats. Mm. Mm hmm Uh well let's try Let's call this last updated and response CSS. So div ID stats. Okay, div uh, stats. What if I just try to get the very first element? That's a bad idea. Okay, let's try to get all instead. I just don't want this view the number of visiting listings. So maybe uh, everything up to the the very last one should be nice. So let's first actually filter this guy. So uh, just like previously done already so it's all about the same guys you know like so text get strip oh sorry this text is not needed okay so also list filter and from zero to minus one okay Come on, filler expected. Two arguments. Excuse me. Which line? Two, two, two. Oh. <laughs> okay, none. Obviously. Yeah. Just need to provide. Uh, uh, how in particular the, the variable uh, describing how in particular in particular we're supposed to be filtering the list by yeah so what do we got here so last updated so probably we can start the statistics is this always been displayed I'm wondering yeah I guess this always been displayed so well, I could have tried this. Well, I don't like using index in. So this. I don't like using index in uh, in the main data set because it might have thrown some exceptions. So I would rather move this. Yeah, last updated. And also, yeah, also I just want to join this by uh, empty string to convert this list to a string basically and yeah uh, I would love to uh, take this away from here so extract last updated would be somewhere somewhere over here and features Okay, so I hope this should work. So let's see if it didn't break a syntax. Yeah, it seems like it's fine. So last updated. Okay, and also let's try accept this. Okay, now no, it's much better. Okay, way better, uh, I would say. So, last updated. So, what else do we have here? So, it seems like almost we're almost done. Now, let's try to extract the coordinates. So, it might be an issue, might be not. Let's try. So, I'm looking for a let. 
aptitude if available so it's available in javascript which is not that bad but okay so yeah it's gonna be a pain to extract this from uh, from here but seems like there is no other way of doing this so okay so let's consider this script so how many this var variable config available is this one yeah so let's try to consider the script so um, here i just say like extract coordinates and first i won't be uh, enclosing this within the try accept statement but later on i definitely will so uh, let's create a JSON data uh, variable. It would be equal response CSS. And uh, by the way, uh, this kind of stuff could have cons could have have some image details as well. So I'm wondering if so maybe I, I would consider mm, taking these images. So let me just try to have a look if this image is something related to oh this is perfect so we could we, we also could have made use of this script to extract the image urls as well which is absolutely fantastic so uh, let me just in this case uh, let me uh, bring this logic uh, separately so um, extract json data from script tag and here we got this so script uh yeah first uh first i need to use the list comprehension to say text get for uh, for text in this list if so yeah let me just prettify this stuff slightly If is var config, no, it's, it's not in the buffer, so if var config in text.get basically, that's it. So uh, let's also try to print uh, our script or JSON data. So we will need also to, so let's get rid of this one for a while. Yeah, perfect. So I hope this is the only script. So yeah, uh, I would also need to join this, and then okay, and then I need to yeah, uh, actually text like this, and uh, also I need to join this by the empty string to convert this to a, a string and then I want to split this by uh, let's make this on a new line so JSON data would be equal JSON data dot split so we're splitting by this string and getting the very last element yeah so and now also which will try to convert uh, so uh, so let's say extract uh, let's call this actually script yeah so here we extract Script con containing containing JSON data. Here we're extracting the JSON data from text script, and finally uh, we need to parse JSON data. So, mm, so here it would be script split. So script split, and here JSON data would be equal json loads and 
Yeah, JSON data. So now let's see if it works actually. I really hope so. Yeah, it doesn't for some reason. So is this malformed somehow? Let me just try to see if it is actually malformed. Well, probably uh, we don't. Well, at some point we, we may not need that. So. Oh, that's because. Yeah, that's because it's not enclosed within. Uh, yeah. It's not enclosed within the quotes. That's why it doesn't work. So, okay, so in this case, let's try to extract the bare coordinates. I don't know yet how exactly. So, yeah, this, this, is, this is a good idea when the script is parsable. Well, well, it's not parsable, it's actually a bad idea. I'm just wondering, can I... Uh, so this... Well, then I can... Uh, so I, I would be doing this manually, yeah, would it be... Uh, actually splitting by this... Uh, yeah, just, just the burst in person, person instead. So, okay, where, where is the latitude again? So let's split this by this and up to the quote and the same for longitude, right? So copy. Okay, okay. So forget this, no need to extract the script. So let's try to extract the verb coordinates. So uh, I would say well, first, let, let me just try to print that string. So, latitude would be equal to response. Oh, hold on a sec. What have I done? No. So, uh, I still actually need that script. Uh, uh, even though I can't parse it, it doesn't matter. So, I just can't extract this JSON data, but I, I still need the script. So, mm, I also need to try accept this because it it's might, might not be always available. So, yeah, we need this still. And here we'll just uh, be extracting the data from the bare script. So, uh, would it be equal script? Mm. Script dot split by latitude and I guess we need the first element and then we need to split it by the quote and get the very first one. Let's try to print our latitude. Okay, it works. Yeah, perfect, it works. So 40.427. Yeah, brilliancy. And now literally the same regarding the longitude, longitude so yeah but uh, I can already do this this like way so I say uh, features coordinates and latitude so no I'll, I'll probably ma make it like this so Respectively, the longitude would be equal to exactly the same, but we use the longitude here. Okay. So let's have a look. If we got something there. Yeah, perfect. Now we got our coordinates been extracted. So this is pretty nicely and. Now let's try extract the image URLs. So extract image URLs. So yeah, and obviously this ne needs to be done within the track set as well. So okay, nice. So. Uh, now we would have been split in the script literally the same uh, and just to make that properly I would love to find 
So what, what is there? Like so everything that goes before. So image data service. That's like copy. So yeah, let's first run a print this actually. So uh print script dot split by this image data service and the first element and well we, we, we would have uh, many of them actually so um, yeah let's let's see what, what we got here actually so yeah we got our image but this is just the bare the first one but uh, I would love to look through all of them so uh, I would probably like to say so let's try create the image URLs variable it would be a list so image like way so uh, so do we have lots of this at the moment so it seems like and now we will try to uh, split by I guess splitting by comma is just fine because this goes like web detail after so uh, let's try image dot split by comma and use the very first element so Hold on a second, it's a little bit too many URLs here. Excuse me. Oh, so this one is not what we need. So um, let's try to print image URLs from first element to the very last one. So uh, I'm not sure how, so what are these guys? So let's go trying to figure out, okay, this works. This works as well. So do you mean like whatever from here works as well? want to say it's so many pictures okay let's have a look at the very last one basically fantastic so maybe they are duplicated at some point but it still is better so uh, I would just try to make this image URLs this like way so actually we can now store this directly to the features to our features so right and don't forget to try accept because dealing with the indexes. Okay, so let's try to print the entire data set now. So, mm, yeah, quite pretty a lot of images. Uh, I'm really wondering, I really want to say that. Kind of all the images work here. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so the more images, the better, basically. So let's keep these guys. Uh, and what else do we have? So image URLs. Uh, okay, so hold on a second. Just uh, I'm wondering why uh, the very first one is not legal. So features image URLs. And this like. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, now it's better. So 
what else so we need to extract the coordinates all the feature data all the stuff there built-in fabric perfect so now the very last thing left here is just trying to extract the agent information so let's have a look at the agent information available so uh, ideally we would like to have uh, the name the uh, is this let me inspect this the email contact fake email button so doesn't seem to be some okay so um, so this seems to be their email okay so I just want to try and inspect this all this stuff so professional name professional adver advertiser okay let's try this one so copy So response.css, what else? Div class, okay. Div class, professional name, and we need then to go for a span, right? So, yeah, let's try this. So. Oh, sorry. CSS span text get save. Let's have a look if we did manage to extract the agent name here. Oh, it's before URLs. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I just want to strip this and like this. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now let's try to grab the URL. So uh, about advert advertiser advertiser name container. This is interesting. Oh, maybe. So hold on a sec. Uh, maybe we could have extract this from here. Copy. Yeah, this would have been better, I guess. So let's try. So response CSS uh, and there we got a a tag, right? So. Does it have any about advertiser name? But hold on a sec, can we just, uh, maybe it's just literally enough, I guess, so. Mm. Let's try text first, and then I'll try the reference. Yeah, it's it's a, it's it's an easier way of extracting this. So, uh, well, actually, here we don't need to strip. So let's try uh, an attribute of each reference instead, and okay. So yeah. And just providing this the full URL basically. So copy. And here I try to say like 
and I also want to stringify this so in case if there would have been nothing so it wouldn't give an error basically so just to bear in mind so probably I can do this like so even okay perfect so yeah now it's just perfect so uh, the only thing I don't need is this one and let's try to check this link to make sure it's kind of works seems like okay perfect so uh, now let's try to extract this phone name if available so phone span class phone bdm perfect copy so agent phone and Oh, sorry, need to get this, to get the text, I'm, re I'm really sorry, so just text, obviously, so, yeah. Okay, perfect, we got an agent phone, just, uh, yeah, I need to write this precisely, agent phone, and if I could have actually tried to get the email as well, this would have been nice, but I, I can't see... Oh, so it's not an email. It's. Uh, do we have any emails here? Uh, so within the script, okay, I don't need that. Mm. Agent email, I don't know. So it doesn't seem to be providing the email. Hold on a sec. Does it just gonna? Uh, contact. Oh, so they don't have it. Okay, so not a problem at all. So agent phone is pretty nice. So agent phone is just pretty nice. Okay, so i guess this is kind of like almost it so let's have a look at the final data set so we got the coordinates location amenities building fabric features full description okay lots of images perfect image floor area last updated price details okay so yeah uh, i guess my client would love this data set because it's really rich in terms of the amount of data it provides us so uh, now I would like to actually try to get rid of this all of this debugging stuff here and try to uncomment my crawler back so uh, I hope we're almost done here so uh, I'm almost at the stage where I'm about to send this work to my client actually okay so just a few more things before so the postal code would be available the url and this id we need to check uh, we, we need to check that slightly so um, postcode file name save uh okay also we need to write this uh response to we also need to write this to the right output basically so right output uh, right features so output file so with open and I'm using the file name here that being forwarded from the couple layers above and I want to append as f and say in app.write features followed by the new line like this 
Okay. Not the features, but JSON dumps features and indentation equals to two spaces. Okay, so now we are almost there. So the very last thing to consider, I just want to extract this code from the URL. So let me just do this in a pair Python console. So uh, okay. So how do we want to split this? So let's say URL split. So well, uh, let's split by slash followed by this question mark and the very first element. Okay, and now split by the slash and the very last element. Okay, perfect. Now we gotta use this code right over here. Okay. Response.url. So uh, we would we would be using the response URL to extract the ID, uh, the specific ID of this kind of property. That's needed in order to uh, distinguish between uh, duplicates in a data set that could have occurred. So now I hold my breath and I would try to run this, and hopefully uh, uh, I'm gonna run this from using the crawler so I just want to make sure that we're not crawling the pigeon oh now we are not so yeah now we actually do crawl the pagination so please don't crawl the pagination at the moment okay I just uh, I can just break that basically so uh, save and here we go. Okay, so uh, I just 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 want to drop here. So okay, here is our data set. It's pretty nice. Okay, so the data set seems to be pretty reasonable. So yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, we could have walked through all the uh, all the cards here. Uh, so I'm just wondering. Yeah, I've crawled the page number two, and do we have only two pages? Yeah. Oh, okay. We just have we have only two pages here. So I was just stopped. Okay. So I would definitely go through some additional extra tests regarding this code before I send it to my client but I just want to show you the entire idea like so let me get rid of this one so just let's now try to get rid from all of the break statements available so uh, I will command them out for a while so don't break after crawling the first postal code don't break after crawling through all the uh, after the very first URL and that's it, right? Okay, so let's try see what happens here. Mm, the data set, so I would also need to go through some minor uh, adjustments in order to make it work in order to make it work in stable. And so as far as data set, it's quite pretty nice. So this is the working deliverable and this is pretty nice. So just to, to handle those. Uh, error codes and that's kind of it so this is it guys uh this is this is it for this video uh, i hope you've enjoyed and learned something interesting out of it so until the next time and take care